Hey everyone, the artificial trainer here. Welcome in and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking fantasy portrait combined with multi talk for the best lip sync we have so far. Before we get into downloading the models, hit that like and subscribe button below. I have a ton more video AI content coming up. You don't want to miss it. You don't want to fall behind because this stuff moves at a rapid pace. All right, so we're going to start off by downloading the models. So I've included all of them in the description below. They're the same ones that you see on this Patreon post. And you might notice that I have both MagRef and image to video 720p. I've had pretty good luck with both models. Honestly, I, I don't know which one I prefer at this point. So I just included both of them in here. But you're going to want to download all of these files start off I'll just download the clip vision here to show you what how it works and then you can go off on your own and download the rest of them while the video runs. If you download them while the video runs, watch the video, then by the time you're done watching the video, the model should be downloaded and you can give the workflow a shot. All right, so let's download this clip vision file. So just click on the link it's in the description below, it should start downloading. Once it's done downloading, you'll see it in your downloads folder. And then we just need to figure out which fo folder to put it in. So it says to place it in the comfy Y models clip vision folder. So let's go to our we're in our comfy Y folder. Let's go to our models folder. Let's go to our clip vision. And then we're going to drag the clip vision in. OK, so exact same process for all of the rest of the files in here. Just download them and put them in the corresponding folder that it tells you to. OK, so once you're done, you'll need to get a driving video so you can either record yourself talking or you can find a video of someone singing online or something like that but just make sure that you have a decent view of their face i'll show you why when we go to actually run the workflow but if you don't have a decent view of their face the model's not gonna be able to track the facial motion and it's not gonna be able to recreate it okay and then your other option for running this is I do have it incorporated in artificial studio. All you need to do once you have artificial studio set up is download the fantasy portrait and the light X Laura's and then just hit download and it'll download all the models for you put them in the comfy UI directory that they need to go in. And then you can open up comfy UI through artificial studio. If you don't want to use artificial studio, just download the models like I showed you. And open up comfy UI the way you normally did grab the workflow from here open it up in comfy UI so for if you're using artificial studio it'll already be provided for you under the lip sync folder all right so once you have it open as long as you installed everything in the exact same places with the exact same names that I did you should just be able to run this right away right after you put your image and your video in if you didn't install everything the way that I did, if you rename some things, just make sure you select the models that you rename them to. And if you don't have Sage Attention installed, just change this to SDPA. If you get an error about Sage Attention, change it to SDPA. All right. And from there, we should have everything all set up to run. So let's drag in our driving video. All right. So I have this guy talking here. I'm going to make this fiery picture of a person talk and then all I need to do is actually my prompts already correct but I would modify the prompt if I needed to and then you can also play with the block swap if you're not if you're not on like a 4090 or 5090 you probably will need to swap some blocks and then the last thing to mention is I am using context options here so if your character doesn't move that much and you use this you should be able to just go infinitely and not worry about how long this the one thing I would recommend is that when you load the video that you make sure that it fits how many frames a wand video should typically be so for example 129 fits the formula 130 does not fit the formula the formula is frames equals n times four plus one where n is a whole number so if your frame count doesn't match that you're going to want to adjust the frame count down to be the first 
amount of frames that matches that formula. All right. And then last thing, this works best at 720p, but you can try it at 480p. I definitely saw some quality degradation at 480p. All right, so let's run this and see what our result looks like. Okay, so here you can see what the fantasy portrait preprocessor is doing. So it's it's very similar to open pose, but it tracks the eye movement and the lip movement much better. It's kind of a, a mix of media pipe and open pose. All right, so here's our result. You know, living up here in the mountains, it's quite the life I get to live. So you can see how well it follows the, the tracking movement on the left. If you're not getting movement that you like, you should probably take a look at the tracking movement that's going on. And you'll probably notice, you know, maybe something looks funky in the lip sync uh, of the original video. And that's why it looks funky in your, in your new one. You know, living up here in the mountains, it's quite the life I get to live. But you can see it follows it very, very closely. You know, living up here in the mountains, it's quite the life I get to live. You can also try Fantasy Portrait on its own without multi-talk. But I've found that combining them really, really takes us to the next level. You can also play with the strength here. I believe the default is 0.8. Um, I've I had pretty good luck there with more like subdued motion. But when I turned it up, I get, you get like the mouth opening really wide like this, which I kind of thought was cool as an effect. Um, but if you just want to get like casual talking, maybe 0.8 strength is better. Okay, so that is it for this video. I appreciate you taking the time to watch it. I hope you can create some really cool stuff with this. If you do, head to the Discord, post it in there. I love to see what everyone's creating. Also, if you run into issues, you need some troubleshooting help, I'm available in the Discord for help. Subscribe to my Patreon. If you can subscribe there, it really helps out the channel, helps me create more content, helps me keep the content coming up to date. Like and subscribe for more AI video content, and I'll talk to you in the next video.